What's going on guys? Today we are working on our four cylinder all wheel drive go-kart, but we're foiled by the metal shop. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Yep, but we still get the front suspension done. Pardon the interruption, folks. We have a special announcement to make. Ike and I are going to be at Go Power Sports Saturday, April 22nd from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. for a swap meet, meet and greet, uh, hangout session, whatever. So if you have stuff you want to bring and you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, or if you're not in that area, you can come hang out anyway. It just might be a bit of a drive for you. Um, yeah, come hang out. We're going to be there. Other go-kart-focused YouTubers are going to be there. Go Power Sports is going to be there. It's going to be a good time. Looking forward to it. See you there. What's up, buddy? Oh, just figuring out how we're going to put this thing together. Yep. We're about five hours into this video. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the first time the camera's been on. Wait. We picked up some metal from the metal shop. Uh, that's 3 sixteenths, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be heavy, dude. Yeah. Well, you don't want the engine up there bouncing around flexing the metal. No, not at all. Well, we need to drill a hole through this to fit over the frame where we're going to weld it up. Okay. Yeah, we don't have a one inch drill bit either. We got 16, half of 16 is eight. eight. That's where I uh, blow a hole in it. <laughs> he always does that, man. <laughs> kind of do need a oh, torque converter, don't we? Yeah. On there. So now we're going to move on to the front. We're going to kind of start to fabricate some spindles. Of course, we're still waiting on metal, so there's only so much we can do. We are hoping to tackle the front axle today, but we're just doing everything we can with what we have because. We were hoping we'd be able to get the metal in like 30 minutes and it's taking like, what, five hours so far? All day. All day. So anyway, this is for our front suspension or linkage or hubs or spindle, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're going to make an identical one, weld it to the frame, and go from there. So nice. Got to buy one of these. So the whole thing with Ackerman steering, or when you have caster in it, is when you turn to the left and the right, one of the wheels, you know, is going to lift up a little bit, especially when you have fixed suspension like this. So uh, yeah, basically what we don't want happening is going around a corner and, uh, you know, when all four of these engines are full throttle, one of them, one of them is going to lift off the ground and be spinning. Uh, wide open kind of just in the air and then when it comes back down it's going to torque steer plus it's also not good to just hold an engine wide open with little load like that so decisions decisions buddy yes so yeah having Ackerman steering or having some caster in it is better for high speed stability um, so we're going to try a compromise and just have a little bit Right. It's the tiniest. Just the tiniest amount. Isn't there like two angles we got to go with on, for the Ackerman? There's the, the leaning back and the poking out. So camber and caster. Yeah. I don't know, buddy. Let's just weld it. We're just going straight up and down? 
Uh, actually, no, because I got the front down a little bit. Oh. So it's it's gonna have just the tiniest bit of of angle. Two and a half. Mm. Not quite two and a half, but we'll get to that. Oh. Okay. Makes me a little bit scared about all the other welds. Ugh, still not happy with that. No, though. it's gonna break. Can you explain what we got going on? I don't know. <laughs> We're just doing it to it. That's going to be the exact height up is that one, where it's at. So it's going to have a raker now. Maybe a tiny spit. Okay, that's fine. Only because the spindle. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so we're what doing, are we doing? It, doing it. Okay. Those rectangular pieces we're going to trim later and make V-shaped, right? Uh, we'll do whatever trimming we feel like doing when we do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't know what we're doing, bud. Me neither. When we're sitting, thinking about it, nothing's happening. So I'm tired of thinking about it, and I'm ready to make something happen. There you go. I'm doing it, buddy. Yep. I'm gonna drill a hole through there for the spindle okay the bolt's gonna pass through and I'm gonna weld it up good on this side and uh, then we'll be able to put the tire on you're brave how's that no punch no pilot hole it'll be fine ah. new t-shirt <laughs> It's just so sketchy. It's so sketchy. We eyeballing it. Eyeballing. I think pretty good. I think it looks good. Nice. I'm gonna start packing the steering knuckles with grease. You think it's heavy duty enough? I don't know, let's look. All right. And in. Um, these should be strong enough as long as they're straight. If they get bent, then they're gonna fold up like a pretzel. All right. It's just getting sketchier and sketchier. Oh, it'll be fine. Yeah. You're snickering over there. What's your problem, man? Mm. Just nervous have, laughter. Have, have I ever let you down? Never. Boom! I didn't think you'd actually sit on that. What? It's just a torque converter. Yeah. Okay. It's a box. <laughs> It'll be fine. You put that here for a joke or something? I don't know. It's fine. I'm tired. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I keep thinking you have like a potato chip or something stuck to your hat. It's a piece of tape. Yeah. So my hair doesn't poof out. Oh, because you burned a hole in it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. Well, we were foiled by the metal shop. Doesn't that sound familiar? It sure does. So what we managed to get accomplished today was the uh, front spindles, um, the steering. No, we didn't do steering. No. So all we really managed to get accomplished today were the front, front spindles. spindles, and 
we well, kind we of kind of did some work on the back here. Yeah. Yeah. Yay, productivity. Engine plate directly above yes. the wheel. Triangle uh, piece of metal, basically tying that together. Yeah. Equals money, right? Equals profit. Dot, 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 profit. Sure. Okay. Absolutely. I hope so. For the metal shop. Yeah. Next time, we'll get the steering done. Yep. We'll have the engines mounted. Yep. We'll have the seat in it. Yep. And hopefully a steering wheel. Yeah. Uh, only thing left after that would be the throttle and the brake and go for a ride. Yeah. Nice. So, so we've got to thank No Power Sports for playing ball with this build. This one is definitely out there. I'm excited though. This thing ought to, ought to launch like nothing else. We're going to have to race it against a mini bike against 670. Full body beetle. Yeah, sure. <laughs> why not? See how it stacks up. I, even though it's getting really heavy, I think it's still going to be fast. Yeah. So, yeah. This is a really heavy duty frame we're, we're putting together here. Well, it needs to be with uh, four engines sitting above really high. high. That's, yeah. a, that's a lot of torque. High up. High up. Yeah. It's going to be twisting. There's going to be a lot of stress on this frame, so we went hopefully a little overboard on it. Yeah. Better too much than too little. Yes. At least in this case. Yeah. So check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check Ike out on YouTube at Isaac. It'll be fine. Let us know what you think. Is it going to win or is it going to fail? I think it's going to win. Because oh. I, I have faith in you. <laughs> You're going to put this all on me. Yeah. This was your idea. That's, that's how I do things, man. I come up with ideas and then get mad when you can't figure them out. <laughs> Since when have I not figured them out? No, you haven't, and I'm not mad. Okay. So we're, we're good. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. So, Ready. So anticlimactic. Ready?